Now that we've had the time to look at all the different types of rules, let's see if we can combine it together. So with number one, what I usually suggest to people is forget about the bottom, let's just look at the top, okay? Well, we can see that there's one negative, and so the final answer is going to be a negative. Then there's this three and this two. Now remember, those are not exponents, and so you're just multiplying, and so that's just going to give us six. Then we see that there is a x to the power of two and an x to the power of two. Can you remember what to do with those twos? Well, well done if you add them, because that's what the exponent rule says. And then we've got y2 and y. Remember that this y has got an exponent of one, and so we add those exponents, and so we end up with y to the power of three. At the bottom, there's nothing we can do there, because everything is, it's already as simple as it can be. So now we can look vertically. So there's still only one negative, and so the final answer is going to be negative. We have six divided by six. Now remember, those are not exponents, those are numbers. And so six divided by six is just one. Looking at this x4 and this x, well, when the bases are the same, can you remember what to do with the exponents? Well, you minus them, and so that's going to be four minus one, which is three. And then having a look at this y3 and this y2, well, we, we minus those exponents, and so 3 minus 2 is just 1. And now moving on to the next one, so we can see that at the top, so we're not even going to look at the bottom, we're just going to look at the top. It says 2 times 3, those are just normal numbers, so that's just 6. Then we can see the x to the power of 3 and the x to the minus 1. Don't let the minus 1 put you off. The rule says that you should add. So you end up with plus minus next to each other. Now a plus and a minus next to each other is the same as just having a minus. And so it's going to be 3 minus 1, which is 2. So it's going to be x to the power of 2. Then we have y to the minus 2 and y to the power of 8. So the rule says that we should add them. So minus 2 plus 8 is 6. That's the top done. Now we look at the bottom where we can see a 3 times by a 2. Those are just normal numbers, not exponents, and so we just multiply them. Then we've got x over here and x over here. Remember, each of those x's have an exponent of 1, and so 1 plus 1 is 2. And then we've got y to the power of 1 here and y to the power of 2 over there. So that's going to be 1 plus 2, which is 3. Now that that's taken care of, we can combine vertically. So we can start by saying 6 over 6. Well, we're not going to minus, we're going to divide. Because those are not exponents, those are normal numbers. And 6 divided by 6 is 1. Many people say, hey, x squared and x squared, we can cancel them. That is true. But even if we didn't see that, we can stick to the exponent rule, which says that it's going to become x to the power of, and then you say 2 minus 2, which is 0. And then for the y's, it's going to be y6 and y3, so you minus, and that's going to give us y to the power of 3. Then remember that anything to the power of 0 is 1, and so what we end up having is 1 times 1 times by y3, which just gives us y3.